Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the reading, keep in mind this is a singles reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Also keep in mind some of the messages may or may not be for you. Take what fits, leave the rest. And um, everything that you need, all the links are in the description box below. Booking readings, etc. All right, Virgo. So let's get into this and please remember also, I'm not sure if I said it, but yeah, smash that like button, you guys. All right, let's see. So the first card to fill out, so we're doing what's coming towards you in love, okay? So um, pay attention to red flags, Virgo. And uh, signs are cautioning you. There may be some romantic feelings that you wish to explore, maybe um, with somebody coming up, or we'll see how it plays out. But I um, feel like you might need to slow your roll <laughs> if you connect with someone, Virgo. Um, or if there's some connection that's made in June, you may need to, you'll be feeling some romantic feelings, sure. Um, some red flags might be control issues. Okay. So pay attention to some control issues. Um, allow a situation to unfold naturally. Okay. So let's get into this and see what's going on here for the singles. <clears throat> what love messages are there for Virgo singles? Oh, we got a whole bunch of cards flying out here. All right, Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands, or the Eight of Wands. All right, you're definitely going to be getting some communication, <clears throat> excuse me, from someone. Um, a lot of communication is going to be coming towards you in June, okay? While you're sitting there looking pretty, taking care of business in your life, um, somebody um, Definitely Virgo wants to be in some type of committed partnership with you. So yeah, I do feel like, or at least get into something along those lines, some kind of like, you know, come together, come together. This is like a lot of communication. I feel like somebody's coming in to give you some truth. Um, Cupid's arrows definitely coming forward. Let me see here. And for some of you, this could be somebody that you're, that you know at work, or it's a co-parent, someone that you parent with, um, or it's your spouse, or a waning spouse, or someone that maybe you you have a connection to this person. This is what this is it. I, I know I'm like diving off in all these different like little rivers here but no you have a connection to this person is it so is it a past person we'll say it could be um is it someone you're already connecting with it very well could be for others it's someone that you're already connected with through other means like like in a job or um connected in a school or something along those lines okay so let me see here somebody asking you out or also saying you know Let's just not try to rush things here and see how something goes. But even with that Eight of Wands, Virgo, yeah, I just feel like someone's super, super attracted to you and um, is going to initiate some communication. Now, let me see. Okay, this could be a long distance relationship as well for some of you. So, hmm, okay. Maybe you know them online. Um, they may also be communicating with you that they um, are going to come see you or travel to see you as well. Let me see. What else? Okay. Wow, I can't believe all these cards are flying out here. Someone who's finally made a decision to commit. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's on. Um, like, you know, either if you knew them before and there was no commitment coming out of a relationship... It looks like okay well that's changing if you didn't know them before you just work with them and then like I don't know keep his arrows hits and someone not him and Han but at, you know actually comes towards you and lets you know that they're interested but like this knight of swords I mean this is like someone like this somebody's gonna be talking you up chatting you up in um, in June absolutely yeah, Virgo, I just kind of feel like um, 
might have been ghosting you if you knew them or just if you had an interest in them they might have just been acting like they weren't interested in you not giving off any signs or vibes or not really just kind of like I don't know acting not acting but just kind of I don't know maybe they were shy or just not sure they have a situation that kind of prevents them or prevented them from approaching I feel like someone's going to approach you okay uh, let's see what else does Virgo need to know oh yeah Virgo I mean come on like this person like this is like I'm ready this is what I hear somebody saying here I am ready I want to do let's do this let's get married let's let's get into this committed relationship like a decision gets made here this person is whatever was going on whatever was going on either because i do feel like you know this person it could be a taurus for some of you it could be a taurus you may not know their sign maybe you do but I, you somehow they're in your they're somehow they're they're in your circle somehow some way maybe not your inner circle it could be in your outer circle but there there's a connection you already know this person maybe you're just friends or you're just acquaintances but yeah i feel like someone here has really liked you for a while um but we're just kind of maybe unbalanced or not sure maybe it was a situation for some of you where it's like don't want to date someone you work with or it's just an awkward kind of situation. It feels like they're like, you know what? Screw it, it doesn't matter. And I just feel like there's gonna be a lot of communication. This person's gonna be chatting you up a lot. Um, yeah. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, Virgo. Let me see. You know them somehow, some way. This could be uh, someone Okay, yeah, there was so much hesitation here with this person. Oh my gosh. Even with this Nine of Wands, like, so much hesitation. This, for some of you, um, I don't know, I'm just seeing all these bandages on this person, you know? Like, they've been hurt before, or something along those lines. And I feel like with that, like, there's so much decision energy showing up here um this person has been stopping themselves from making a move from trying to approach or stopping themselves to just make themselves more available um because of this nine of wands because of this energy of you know being standoffish this stand off they have this standoffish energy they're like a deer in the headlights when it comes to the opposite sex <laughs> or whether whatever just someone they find super super attractive which is you maybe even a little intimidating someone strong or just someone who's super super kind they might have been hurt in the past and have been hesitant to try to go the distance or just kind of someone who gets hurt very easily so they keep their distance but you know it's like i feel like this person because of this two of wands has just stood at this crossroad and never like chose never picked a lane you know that's what but now it's like now they're finally like they've weighed their up they figured it out they know what they need to do and then i don't know they just get like this burst of energy to come after you and i i kind of feel like they're having dreams of you or their fantasies about you or like too much to take they're gonna make something happen here with you i know some of you are like someone's dreaming about me yeah yeah someone is or they had it could be daydreaming fantasies or they had a dream about you and they're like why why does Virgo keep popping up in my dreams? Or why does Virgo, like, why does this keep happening? Okay, yeah, three of cups here. So, well, there's definitely gonna be um, a connection with this person. You might connect with them um, through a group, you know? There's some kind of, maybe a work party or some type of celebratory event. You might connect with them that way. 
where they approach you at some type of work event or school event or something along those lines. It could be also approaching you through friends, letting uh, you might have mutuals. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just picking up like a group of people, small group, a small intimate like some close friends something some connection through friends you might know them through friends it could be friends on social media it might be friends on social media with this person and they've never approached you or they you've talked to them before but they were kind of skittish not saying anything you know and no or some of you actually get a friend request by this person if you're on social media and then these, you know, hey, you know, how are you? And then it's kind of some stuff starts happening here. You know, the red flag, though, I feel like with this person is this standoffish behavior. If you knew them before, there's a lot of like question marks surrounding this person. Like, why are you so standoffish? Why are you so afraid? Why do you have such high boundaries and walls up? That kind of energy. Okay. So it's interesting. Let's see if we can get a court card. Maybe to give you a little more clarity who this might be approaching you in June. Okay. Eight of Cups there. Okay. So you have the Emperor. Someone could be on the cusp, like somewhere April 19th, 20th, 21st. Could be a Taurus Aries cusp or Taurus or Aries. But somebody's definitely like, they're on this journey of. I'm picking up some, you know, strong alpha energy, if you like that, or someone who is taking on some, making some bold steps, some courage, doing the right thing, okay, going after what they want, which is you. Somebody's like, uh, I don't know, I just kind of feel like this person has held back in a lot of ways because they didn't know that if you would like be interested in them, if they weren't, I'm just hearing masculine enough or... Uh, and I don't mean masculine as in male. I just mean like masculine as in leadership. as Because this person, I just, I feel like this is someone who, they're very sensitive. I just pick up like a very strong sensitivity. And if you were connected with this person and they were very sensitive before, you might have wanted to kind of like take the lead yourself and then some control issues developed within you and you might have felt like you were the masculine alpha and this person, you know, I'm, I'm talking to the ladies and this person was um, more feminine. So roles, I don't know, were reversed in some way. Okay. So let me see here. There might be a connection to a father as well. This, For some of you, like I said, this could be... Um, some of you could be getting back with um, a father they had a child with, too. Okay, what else? Yep, child support right there. For some of you, that is the message. That the father of your child is returning. He wants to try to make this make a relationship work here. Reciprocity, give and receive. This is like finally paying that child support they haven't paid or paying it for the first time. Okay? The judge with the scales here is like, nope, nope. We gotta pay up. Pay up. Alright, let me see. And for others, it's just this person knows that they need to reciprocate, you know, like they need to give. Um, and I see them, that's part of being an emperor. It's not just about, you know, being this narcissistic leader, you know, and it's having this nasty ego. Um, being the emperor requires give and take and giving support. The emperor is capable of being a strong leader and supporting Okay, let's see. I feel like you were just maybe this connection or you know about this person is that they weren't being in that energy. Okay, with you. 
like I said, this is not somebody that's a fresh new face that you're just going to meet on the street and start a relationship with. This is someone that you either know or know of. You've had either some indirect or direct dealings with them before, but I don't necessarily I'm not too sure if you've had a full-on relationship with them. You may have, um, but it might have been so on and off or very infrequent that it really never came to fruition. Now, if you've had children with this person, um, you might have had a relationship with them, but they may not have been actually present to the relationship which would make me feel like there was some kind of an absence. You know, it's like, you know, the lights are on, but nobody's home. That kind of person, <laughs> someone that was body physically was there, but just was not present to the relationship or to any kind of commitment. And it looks like that's changing here. Okay, let me see. But of course, Virgo, pay attention to the red flags. You know, you might have this thing might stir up some romantic feelings in you. Um, and you might want to try to protect yourself. Or you may just say, you know, I'm just going to let things go and just be open to this and see where this thing goes. Okay. All right. Let me see what else. One more, okay. Three of Swords. Huh. And the Seven of Wands. All right, hold on. Oh, okay. And the Tower, yeah. So some of you, whoever, if you had a relationship with this person before, looks like you must have like ended something here with this person if you knew them before you had some kind of connection um or you might have just spoken with them in a friendly way and you know rejected them or you might have told them no in the past or just cut off any energy if it's a work connection just because it's at work for some of you okay um let me see I can't believe there's no court cards. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Some of you, you blocked this person because they were coming on with just the sexual energy and nothing else. Okay. Um, and it feels like this person is kind of like, okay, that's, I was making the wrong approach. I wonder if Virgo will, you know, open up to me in a different way I feel like this person is just I don't know I'm not trying to make excuses for someone here but I do feel like someone really really like they're highly interested like they are really they got a thing for you there is definitely a physical attraction but I do feel like if they have approached you in that with that lusty energy at first you might have just been like get out of no not like no no or you just pushed them away, you know, whatever. But it just kind of, and I do feel like they took that real hard. Like their sensitivity. And I feel like it's like you might have like busted somebody's ego a little bit here. Like Virgo, I feel like you were like, no, you got to come to me correctly. Not with this dumb shit. No, you need to ask me out on a proper date. And we will go and have like a proper meal and sit down and get to know each other. We're not going to hang out in a bar and drink. We're not just going to have an F session on the on like overnight. It's not going to be a one night stand. No. And you it looks like how whatever the connection, it looks like you pushed back on this person. And <laughs> where is it? Where'd it go? And this person was just, where the hell did the card go? Am I losing my mind? Oh, here it is. Yeah. And this person was just like, oh, damn. What the Virgo seriously was like, no, I'm not having it. Look, you, you gave him a headache. You busted him up with that Virgo. Yes, you did. And now they're like, oh, Virgo means business. All right. I see. I'm going to come in. And I'm going to do this the right way. <laughs> I'm going to approach Virgo with respect. 
and show honor and integrity and treat Virgo like the king or queen that he or she is. And I'm not going to come in with some bullshit <laughs> up my sleeve. Um, let me just get a couple of, because there's no court cards, so I want to see what other messages there are here for you. Crazy. Yeah. Virgo's like, that's right. I'm the dating queen. You're going to come in and give me flowers. You got to bring a gift. You take me out somewhere nice. I'll have a proper date. I'm not, we're not hanging. Oh my God, I can't even talk. We're not going to hang. Like we're not hanging. Like, oh, you want to hang? Hey, baby. You, look, I'm hitting you up. Or someone who texts you, like shorthand text, like W-I-D. What you doing? Like, get the hell out of here with that. Grow up. You're not, you're not a, a <laughs> you're not a 16 year old anymore. Right? And I, I'm not talking to you, Virgo. I'm saying this is, I feel like somebody approached you that way. And they were just kind of like, I don't know, being just very immature. Like this person, I don't know, still stuck in their teenage years or their college days or something. And Virgo's like, I don't think so. Maybe that was a red flag for you. Like this person needed to get into emperor mode. They need, I kind of feel it's like that for you. Like you're like, you know what, you can come back, but you got to come back correctly. You got to come in in this emperor mode. Like grow the F up. Take responsibility for the things you need to take responsibility for. Get a job. Work. Get your credit right. Get stable. And then approach me. Because if I say you're responsible, it's not about the love as much as it is also about you, you being able to be stable. How can I depend or count on you to be a person who shows up for the relationship if you can't even get up in the morning or you can't even hold a job or be consistent in other areas of your life? You know what I mean? Like, I know some people are like, well, that's really harsh. No, we, it's not harsh because we shouldn't be all out here like, oh, but I love you. I mean, Love isn't going to pay the bills. I hate to break it to you. And if you're trying to like marry someone or be with someone because of just only how you feel, you're going to be heavily let down because you're going to wind up having expectations after your feelings fade. And then you're going to be hitting a brick wall like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> now that my feelings have calmed down a little bit, I see this person is, you know, acting like a child. So, yeah, I feel like someone's got the message someone's gotten the message here you know or it, even if they have a job and everything is stable the, their approach it feels like Virgo <clears throat> whatever the reason it was like inappropriate the way the approach either because it was at work or because they just wanted to hook up or hang out or it was just someone who just wasn't you know raise their vibrations have the only thing we're raising in this person was whatever was in their pants but their vibrations were not raising <laughs> you know so i don't know virgo i just kind of feel like this person is like oh oh they didn't expect it they didn't expect you to kind of just be like no i deserve more i deserve better not necessarily more i deserve better be a better person approach me better because you can be better yeah there you go does that mean that someone didn't care about you no because obviously the heart got broken you know but you know hey guess what if you were coming at someone from the heart it never would have happened but when they come when someone comes at another person from the ego this is what happens Okay. Money, wealth, luck, finances. Yeah, get a job. Go, oh, please. Don't come back to me unless you have a job. <laughs> or something. Show me something. Show me the money. Okay, you want to come back? Show me the money. <laughs> Virgos, I know that you are not gold diggers. I know, Virgo is the one sign, honestly, in the entire zodiac. It, it, far from Capricorn and Taurus, who are, who are not gold diggers. Virgo is a sign of service. Virgo is a sign, this Virgo gets in there and works. Virgos are independent and they make their money. They're, they're just, they just love, like, I don't know. 
I do know I'm a Virgo. I just love to work. It's just a, a wonderful thing. Virgos love to play too, but I think it's kind of like for you, whatever this situation is, um, you know, if somebody owes you money, yeah, they're going to pay you back for sure. You're going to get whatever is owed to you from someone. Um, but you might work with this person where your, your, your career, your work, your job involves a lot of money in some way. There's money connection to money and some of you are just you know you gotta you gotta show me the money you gotta show me it's just like in Jerry Maguire right um Rod Tidwell the football player was like you know I'll do for you you gotta do for me show me the money you're working for me come on show me the money right and but the, it's funny because in that movie I love how their energies are that come together because um both of them had ego problems and both of them were calling each other out on their ego problems. So I don't know, Virgo, I just kind of, I don't know what I'm getting into here, but I just kind of, and why I even went there with Jerry Maguire, but I just kind of feel like for you, Virgo, you are, I don't know, you're just requiring, it looks like you have some high standards here and you're not trying to be mean, but, um, you know, I just feel like someone here is kind of like, oh, wow like you turned on your heel and kept it moving with someone here for whatever reason and I, I do see this person coming back in with this you know wanting to try to come at you in a better approach a better way you know I mean I can tell you like Virgo I feel like this person has a serious heart thing yeah Virgo was like an ice queen Virgo was the ice ice queen Maybe you're divorced, a mother, you're being discerned, very discerning and cold towards someone, which you should, Virgo. If you're dealing with a guy, especially, you need to be cold towards him if he's treating you like a dog. And I don't want to hear from the guys in my chat saying that that's wrong, because then it's not wrong because you're not a woman and you don't know what it's like for women out here to, to be dealing with a ton of men all the time who are just trying to get in women's pants so don't even be giving advice to the girls that's my job men need to stand up they do and, and Virgo men are the men that will I have more faith in all of all the signs in Virgo men they are the ones who will uh, treat a lady right they'll treat her good when they know that that's, that's their person, you know? Um, yeah, you got control here. You got control here. Releasing, taking your power back. And also, a little kinky in the bedroom. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, yeah. You might have been in, like, some of you might have been in a situation where somebody was holding those puppet strings, or at least you felt that. Even if they weren't, you felt like you needed to stand up. Okay, so June is definitely going to be a time of someone coming forward and just like, okay, all right, I need to get myself together. I need to approach Virgo correctly. I need to like man up in this situation and um, take the lead here. And I, it's like do or die. Yeah, Virgo, because Virgo is pretty much like, I'm looking for a mature man. And Virgo's like, you know has a lot of options it's getting out there in June and you know even if like when I say getting out there I'm not I'm not saying that you're Virgo you're out there and you're like pushing yourself on people I'm seeing you're making yourself available because this is what you're looking for someone who is mature not just necessarily in age but someone who is you know it's going to be able to provide so someone that will provide for you so you can take care of them in return that's how that works you know what i mean jelly beans oh i thought my micro my um microphone was off um let's see if we can get some physical features of this person coming towards you physical features okay so we do have someone that has brown hair. They could have gray hair as well. Let's see. Mm. 
Okay, we've got wavy hair, brown hair, wavy hair. Someone's also bald, so there's no hair there. Someone with short hair. Well, like this person either, I don't know what's going on. Someone wears wigs. Um, so we've got brown hair, wavy hair, short hair, and bald. And it's all about the hair. Is there anything else? Okay. We do have someone who's of average weight. They're thick. Someone's thick. Looks like the women. I feel like, except for the bald part, perhaps. Um, oh, what is with all this hair? Someone's got colorful hair. Maybe you're in between dye sessions or lightning sessions. This could be you as well. We have someone with a beard also. Could be bald with a beard. Hey. All right, let me see. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm just going to leave your singles there because I'm actually sitting under the vent for the air conditioner and my hands, look, my nails are turning blue. I'm freezing. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you guys, um, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I hope you guys have a fantastic awesome evening thanks everybody for being in the membership chat today that was super super awesome so happy to see you all and i will be back here on monday to do your longer reading all right you guys have a fantastic day night evening morning be safe be happy make good choices and i will see you all back here very soon bye